Trigger Spoon Jr. Small spoon, big results. Get on over to fishhuntshoot.com and get yours today and you'll be yelling fish on tomorrow. Just like that, baby. Hey folks, Cal Kellogg here. If you're a trout and salmon troller, I hope you're ready to have your mind blowing. <laughs> okay? Um, I was up at Frenchman's Reservoir a few weeks ago and I was putting a whooping on the trout using an orange needle fish like this, but I wasn't using it as it comes out of the box. I was tuning the spoon to get a very specific kind of action out of it. Now, you watch this footage of a standard needle fish going through the water. First, I'm going to run it at regular speed and then I'm going to slow it down. So check that out. Now, as you could see, the action was pretty subtle, but you know, you could troll that spoon at a fairly fast clip and get action out of it. But at Frenchman's, that's not what I needed. I needed to be able to troll fairly slow and get a lot of action out of the spoon. So look at a spoon set up the way I was using it at uh, Frenchman's Reservoir. Here's another needle fish. I'm going to show it at regular speed and then I'm going to slow it down. Now the difference isn't great, but I'll tell you, I was getting a lot more action out of the spoon set up the way that second spoon was set up. It allowed me to troll slower and trigger more strikes from fish that weren't super active. So how did I do that? Well, I tuned the spoon. And if you're not tuning your trout and salmon spoons, you're not getting as many strikes as you could get. So let me show you that first spoon, the pink needlefish. Pretty standard looking needle fish, you know, just your, your regular average needle fish. And let me show it to you from the profile. It's pretty straight. Now here's the needle fish, the orange one that I was getting after those trout with. Look at it that way. Pretty standard looking needle fish. But if you look at it from that angle, you can see it's a lot different. So Here's the standard out of the out of the package version, and here's the version when I got done with it. How did I do that? Well, I simply bent the spoon using my fingers. I can make that pink one look a lot like the orange one over here that was catching the fish. Here's all I did. Take the spoon like this. I accentuate that curve near the tail, like so, and then on the front, I'll put a little up curve to it, like that. And what I do is I test it aside of the boat, okay? The slower you want to troll, the more extreme you want those bends to be in the spoon. Now, the front bend does a little bit to alter the action, to bend up here. But the, uh, the bend that really changes the action is the, the amount of cup you put at the rear of the spoon. So that's the way you can tune a spoon to get the kind of action out of it you want at the speed you want to troll. The straighter the spoon, the faster you can troll them. The more bends you put in the spoon, the slower you can go and still retain really good action. And of course, this only works with certain kinds of spoons. You're not going to take a heavy brass crocodile and bend it with your fingers, but a spoon like this, uh, this XL spoon right here, if you wanted to slow down, this is a great spoon. It's a uh, Kingfisher Lite. It's the three inch version. This is a great spoon if you want to troll three miles an hour two and a half miles an hour. But if you want to slow down, here's what you need to do. Just grab it right here. You can already see there's a bend in it. That's where it gets its action. Give that a little more extreme bend. And right here on the nose, you can see there's a slight upslope. Give it a little more. Give it just a hair more right there. Now that spoon is going to display more action at a lower speed. So a little bugs out here. But uh, anyway, the bottom line is if you're using a traditional thin trolling spoon, don't be afraid to put a little bend in them, do some experimenting, run them aside of the boat at the speed you want to troll to achieve the kind of action you want to see. Usually more action 
means more strikes. It's the wiggle, it's the vibration that makes fish hit spoons. So dial in the spoon action to the speed that you want to troll. If the bite's a little bit off, you may have to slow down, and that means running a, a spoon like that with some pretty aggressive bends in it. Anyway, I started catching a lot more fish on spoons when I started tuning my spoons for the situation at hand, and you can do the same thing. Told you, this is a tip that you probably haven't seen, and uh, you're gonna catch more fish if you employ this out on the water. So, anyhow, that's our tip for today. I'll be right back here on YouTube. Thanks for supporting the channel, listening to all my crazy theories and, uh, and advice. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. If it wasn't for you folks, we wouldn't have a YouTube channel. So get in your garage, tune your spoons, and get after those fish. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'll catch you later.